Hello everybody. Uh, more messing about with Mora. Uh, I've had a go with Gunblue. Done a bit of a testing. Now we're going to try a more natural patina. The idea was to get a big grapefruit but the shop at the end of the road didn't have any and the big oranges were expensive so it's lemons. First off we've got a couple of minutes footage showing you how I prepare the blade because we've got to get the gun blue finish off first so let's have a look at that Life is marching slow when the dawn in your heart begins to glow. Okay, so lemons, knife. First thing is I better degrease the blade. Um, as I think I've mentioned a few times now, I do treat on a carbon blades with. Um, oil. So I'm thinking it'd be a good idea if we just use a bit of isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, just to get that oil off. We've still got some of the coloration on the spine from the gun blue. The dimpling on the spine is quite deep and I really couldn't be bothered 
grinding it off. So we shall have to live with that. Put the uh, alcohol, alcohol away. Time to prepare the lemmings. And what I'm going to do, just to make sure we get proper coverage, is I'm using two. So let's slice the end off that one, and then this one I'm going to slice both ends off. That should give us a decent amount of lemon for the blade. It's all raggedy. Right, so. And basically all I'm going to do is stick that through there, right up to the handle. And then leave that for a couple of hours. So I'm now going to go off and have a very large coffee, read the paper, and come back in a bit. It is about 25 past 12, Thursday afternoon. There's my Mora Clipper in a lemon. Catch you later. Okay, so it's 20 to 4. The lemons have been uh, in control for just over three hours. So the time has come to see what we've got. Whoa. Let's give that a rinse. The kitchen towel, the lemons are looking pretty grotty actually in there. Right, let's show you. Remove the lemons. On the plain side, we've got quite dramatic marbling. I'll do some close ups because I'm never sure how this is going to come out on the camera. In fact, I'll just have a quick look. Yeah, we're in frame, I think. That's interesting. Then on the logo side, similar marbling again. But just here and here, there are a couple of spots that look like plain, ordinary rust. So what I'm going to do now, I just should have... Oh, should have been prepared to do this, shouldn't I? Um, get some oil and see how it looks with a bit of oil on the blade. Now one thing I notice compared to the gum blue, there's no oh yeah I was going to say there's no black coming off there but there is a little bit but it's right up against the handle and that may be the remnants of the gun blue anyway. So there we have the blade with a bit of oil on. Quite dramatic I think. Although some might just say blotchy. 
I think what I'm going to do is see if I can just polish up the bevel and go for a bit of a two-tone effect. <laughs> 